Hi everyone, my name is Phyllis and I'm the owner of Mad Moody Quilting Fabrics. I thought I'd come on today and show you how to make a little fabric bowl. It looks like this. So you need two fat quarters of matching fabrics. You need a sewing machine, you need scissors, you need some interfacing. Uh, the interfacing is um, Palon uh, 906F fusible sheer weight. I'll put the link down below for it and, um, and, and matching threads. Okay. So let's get to this. Okay. I'm going to show you how this works. I'm just going to flip it over to, um, this and see how cute this is. Super easy. All right. So, I mean, you can even pin those a little bit, but I didn't. All right. So, the first thing you want to do is you need to stabilize your fat quarters. So like I said, you're using a shear. It has a glue dotted glue surface and you're just going to iron that down. And you're going to make sure that that is all ironed down. And you need to get two circles out of this fat quarter. So you need to get kind of um, innovative on how you're going to mark. Now, you can use your dinner plate as your pattern. That's what I'm doing. I'm using my dinner plate. The one that I showed you, my sample, I used um, a serving plate, which was a little bit bigger. So the bowl itself is a little bit bigger this way and maybe a little deeper. I'm not sure. We'll find out because I haven't made one with a dinner plate. But this one I decided I was going to make it with the, the dinner plate, not with the serving plate. So I think that is stabilized enough. And then you're going to take your dinner plate and you are going to figure out now you need to make sure that you leave some space. Let me just move this down here. Um, you need to make room and leave some space here, 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 and here. And the reason is, is because when we trace this, the tracing line becomes your sewing line. So I'm just going to move that up a little bit so I can trace this. I'm going to get this and I'm just going to, I'm going to do this one first. I just use a pencil and I'm roughing it. Like I'm just making sure that I get everything in. And now I'm just going to move this up and I'm going to move the plate down into this corner and I'm going to do the same thing. Now this batik is a little wider than um, something else that I than some other fabric. So we're not needing to dig into that square. We're going to be able to do this without digging into that square, which is good. Okay. So there you are. Now you are going to cut this apart. And I'm just going to move this plate off so I can lift this and we're just going to cut on this line and we're going to cut on this line and this becomes this becomes waste or you put it aside to do another one with a much smaller plate if you'd like make sure I don't cut into that And this is waste or put aside. I'll be putting them aside. Now you're going to take right sides to right sides. And we are going to make sure. And there you go. Now we're going to just trace around it. And we're going to pin it. 
Where's my pins out? There's my pins. Once it's pinned, I don't want this shifting on me, so I'm going to put a few pins in just to make sure that it doesn't shift. And then we're going to switch over to the sewing machine, and I'm going to show you what foot I use to stay on this line. Now we're going to sew on this drawn line, okay? So right now we have, let me just switch over, sorry. So right now we have we have just regular sewing thread in it and I'm going to show you the foot that I plan to use. So this is the foot I plan to use. It has a little red arrow that is lined up and centered with the needle when the foot is on. So I'm just going to put that back on and that's it. And we are going to sew on this, this line right here, okay? So here we go. And this is quite easy. You just carefully follow that arrow on the line, sewing. And I watch the arrow when I'm doing this because I want to keep it on that line as best I can. And you're going to do this with, with two, two circles, because you need two circles to make this with uh, a matching, maybe a novelty fabric, and then a matching um, contrast fabric. And you're going to make two of these circles to put together. All right. So now we're going to go back to the overhead camera. And we're going to find my scissors. We're going to take these out. We don't need these anymore. And I'm just going to get rid of these threads. We don't need these threads anymore. Let's get that over there. And that over there. And then we're going to just cut around, leaving about a quarter inch seam allowance. That's why we have the little extra. That's why when I drew, I didn't draw right up against the plate because we want to have some seam allowance left. All right. And you do, a, a, I, I'm eyeballing about a quarter inch. Some places maybe it's a little more. Um, it can be a little less in a quarter inch, it doesn't matter, as long as it's giving you, there we go. So this is waste, I'll throw that in the garbage. Now I need to find the center of this to open her up. Okay, so we are going to um, find the center, and I'm just going to, And I just need to mark, I'm going to use the pen because it's going, to, oops, it's going to be better. We just need to mark a big enough line on the fold just so we know. Just like that. All right. So now we're going to pull these apart. We want to pull these apart. And we're going to cut this open and turn it. So there we go. I'm just going to make it just a little bit bigger so I can turn it. And now we can turn this. And we're just going to turn it all the way out, work it through, and there we are. So we've got it turned. Now we got to iron it. So we're going to quickly, and I like to pull, I like to pull back on the one on top and then roll it back, pull back and roll it 
pull back and roll it. And I'm just finger pressing it for now to, to make sure that that seam, there's no pleats in it. Nothing funny going on. There we go. Now you're sitting there going, but you opened it up. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'll, sh I'll explain that in a minute. Cut it open in the center. What are you going to do with that hole? Well, that hole disappears between the two circles, so it's not going to show. There we go. I think that has done it. Now I'm just going to pull these and flatten them out and then I'm just going to take my iron and get this all steamed down and I am using a steam iron because I want this to be set I want those seams to be set and there we go so after that you need to mark the one that's going to go on top and I have already marked one of them so what i did was and i'm going to show you i folded it this way then i folded it this way then i folded it this way and then i flipped it and folded it this way then i went in at, with a pencil and i just marked this fold i marked this fold i marked uh, this fold and then I oh and I marked this fold and then I open it up I marked that fold open the other side up marked that fold and then I have all my folds and then I take a ruler and I do I match up the ruler from here to here draw a line and a line now these become sewing lines now there's the opening and there's the opening for this one Okay, we're going to put, those are the wrong sides, basically. So you're going to put your wrong sides together. We are going to go ahead and change. We're going to change the thread to match. I want a red thread for this in the bobbin, which I have here all ready to go. And I'm going to change that. And... I'm using um, a, uh, like a glide red and then I'm just going to change the upper thread to this butter yellow because I thought that was going to work really nice on the top. I didn't want to use too stark of a, of, of a yellow um, but, but uh, at the same time I didn't want to use my regular ivory uh, that I sew with. So I'm just going to quickly get this threaded. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I'm just going to hold this and bring up the bobbin thread. Don't know where my oh they're my little scissors <laughs> all right and then i'm just going to put this case back in there we go all right so now we are just going to sew and again i'm using the same foot lining the 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 line with the arrow and i'm going to straight sew from one side to the other and I'm actually going to do back stitch because I want this tacked on both sides. And I'm just following the line as best I can um, because it's kind of hard to, um, to see the line. I didn't do it dark enough. And then you're going to just, there we go. And then you're going to cut and do that for the next one. So let me get those done. And again, we move on. And actually, I'm going to crisscross them. Do the center ones first. And there we go.
There we go. And now we're going to do, we have two more to do. And now we're going to do this one. And it's kind of hard to see this one. Let me start. Okay. There we go. And we have one more. And then I can um, show you what to do to open her up and tack her into a bowl. This one's a female, because I'm saying her. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We're starting. This is the last stitch around, stitch across. There we go. All right, so that's done. I'm going to switch to the top camera. So now we have everything sewn together. So now what we're going to do, let me go get some clips. I like to use these tiny little ones. Sorry, they're usually I have this on the ironing board. So I use these tiny little minis and now we're going to clip these. Now I'm just going to use my eyes. I'm just going to eyeball where my sewing is. And this one, I'll double check these. And then this one. And there, there it is. So this is what it will look like. So you're just going to hand sew those little things down. And then like I did here, I don't know if you can see that. I hand sewed them here, just a little whip stitch. And look at the difference. Look at the difference. So this is a little candy bowl or a knick-knack bowl or whatever. So that's it. That's today's tutorial. And thank you for joining me. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe and ring the bell. Um, I do uh, product videos and little tutorial vid videos with quilting and everything. I don't always do these kind of little knick-knack things, but I really um, enjoyed uh, seeing this and I thought this would make a great little gift, uh, little things around the Christmas. We always have little hard candies around and everything. Now, if you want this to be like, be able to take, a, uh, you could cover this with with a plastic film that you, you iron on or something. Um, but I would just use um, candies that are wrapped to put in there around the Christmas time um, and stuff when you're entertaining. But that's it. And I will probably try to do a smaller version with a more like um, uh, a bread plate or, or, or dessert plate or something, something a little smaller and see what happens. But that's, that's, that's them right there. So happy sewing. We'll see you on the next tutorial share day. Bye-bye.